Hi, I'm Helen I have been making a series of short films for the Abercrombie Arts Festival. So I thought I'd show you a little bit around my own studio and um, just uh, show you my new gallery room since I've started painting and a little bit about setting up an Etsy shop too. Um, I opened my gallery, um, well my studio, about two years ago, three years ago. I renovated this addition to our house which was a bit run down and uh, it's been wonderful because it's its own separate space. Let me take you inside, show you what's going on. This is my working print space but I, I also have started painting down here uh, as you can probably see from the wonderful lively floor. The next area I'd like to take and show you here at Skirid Studio and Gallery is the new gallery room that I've made. In March last year, when we were thrust into lockdown, I decided to follow a dream really, which was to try other media. I'd been printmaking for about three and a half years. I'd started with Lee Wright and, uh, you know, I've got quite proficient at reduction lino cuts. Um, but you know, I wanted to explore paint really, and also someone had given me some pastels, oil pastels. And now I am now also painting on, on board in oil paints. I use acrylic as well as oils. Um, so it's a mixed media process, landscape inspired, although I've also now begun exploring abstract art, which is a whole new world. There's a big hole in the wall here really, with small paintings here to replace a painting that's in the Royal Cambrian Open exhibition at the moment. Uh, and again, I'm hoping that people might want to pop in and view the, view the gallery room this summer. I'm going to make it clear that it's a sort of open studio three or four days a week. So I've had some professional gicle prints made of my original paintings. These are then limited edition prints that are affordable for buyers. Um, I, they're made by the wonderful Craig Duffy up in Ebba Vale and they're very, very high quality, I have to say. Um, he also mounts them and wraps them ready for sale. So all you have to do is get a signature. But anyone who's interested in Craig's services, he photographs the original paintings before he does the prints. I'll add Craig's details to my notes so that anyone who's interested in using his services can get in touch. I've set up a small pop-up shop because we've got this lovely door here and passers-by can peep in get nosy. I thought I'd put some of my products out, my prints, they can buy them in frames which they can't do on Etsy, you can buy a card of a local landscape or a liner cut print, I just have a few notebooks but it's just a little extra way to connect with people and show them what you're doing. And there's a couple of small original paintings there too. So I'm hoping that'll get quite busy this summer. Have a look at my prints in the browser rack. Um, and surprising, you know, you do get people in quite regularly and I, I suspect this summer is gonna be a busy time around here. So people will enjoy popping in, I, I suspect.
you're up to the nerve centre, which is more of an office and a design area. Um, this space here, when we bought the house four years ago, was effectively three tiny rooms. So uh, we've opened it up and had it replastered and uh, got a bit of a display area here, which is now filling up with paintings as well as prints. And um, over here I've organised all my card stock, a lot of which I sell on Etsy, so I'll show you more about that. I have quite a lot of my designs and my original liner cut prints and etchings um, made up as professional cards. Um, I have this really helpful guy, Chris Oldroyd, and I can tell you more about him in my notes. And he takes my images, which I photograph or scan, and he turns them into these cards for me, and he puts all the information on the back of the cards. Uh, and these do tend to sell really quite well. I sell them in packs as well as single cards, and I offer a service where I write the message and send direct to recipients of people, which I think was quite valued in, in the coronavirus lockdown. So these cards are my latest stock that's arrived from the printers. Um, the process now will be to uh, research other similar images in Etsy for tagging and then I'll do some product photography, probably including a pen to show size and I'll also make sure it's very clear from the title of the product what's available, which sounds obvious but there's, there is search engine optimization to take into consideration when you're selling online and so how you name your products is very important it's all based on research really this is my etsy shop and i thought i'd tell you more about setting it up because um, for a year I think I only had about two products on there um, and as you can see now an awful lot more I organize it into sections notebooks greeting cards but I've got 73 listings now um, all quite hard work but I had a huge amount of help and I was very fortunate to find out about the Hereford Etsy team and they um, send you, they give you courses on listings and taking photographs of your products, um, search engine optimization, you name it, they are really good on it. And how to support your shop with social media postings. And they also help run live events like a Christmas fair, which of course we weren't able to do last year, but um, we really did. Do, we do very well with that and we raise a lot of money for charity too. I've had a lot of sales with this listing. I think the title's effective. Um, the product photography, as you can see, gives you a good sense of size. You can add a film into your um, Etsy listings, which I think people really enjoy close-ups, see detail, and if you put in as many um, images as possible, I think that really encourages buyers as well. The description I tend to keep pretty short. Um, it's valuable to repeat what you say in the title, that helps with the algorithms for some reason, and then you have to set out your uh, delivery options which is all done when you set up your shop uh, and when you make the listing you will add in your tags there and you can research these by looking at the bottom of other 
uh, other people's listings because the tags are visible. Here, here we are, it's explore related searches, so garden birds obviously comes up quite frequently. It's well worth doing this type of research before you set up each listing. Thanks so much for joining me at the studio. Um, it's great, great to be involved with the festival. We've all got to try and do what we can. We're still in lockdowns at various stages. So I hope art has been something that's really helped you through lockdown. And uh, yeah, do get in touch. I'm on Instagram, um, Skirid Print Studio. I'm available through YouTube so I can answer any questions about Etsy or uh, getting your products printed professionally. And take care, thanks. Thank you.